Hi and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about a huge and also avoidable mistake that women make with men. It's something that we all do or have done without thinking at some point in our lives. If you've never experienced a healthy relationship or even if you have, it can be difficult to figure out what a healthy and united relationship actually is. That is why this video is a must watch as I'm going to teach you about the danger of unrealistic dating expectations and how they can ruin your chances of getting a man to fall for you long term. It's been said many times that expectation is the root of all heartache and this affects both sides involved. You might feel disappointed when your expectations aren't met, but so does your man when he realizes that he's disappointed you. Whether you're in the early stages of your relationship or if you've been together for a while, if a man ends up feeling like he can't please you, there is a good chance this is the reason why so many men pull away after getting close. Let's face it, no woman wants to be known as a ball breaker or to be seen as a woman who's difficult or unreasonable. And yet we can all be at times. And yes, I know men can also be demanding and unreasonable too. So please know that I'm not suggesting that this is a female only trait. Either way, this is something every woman must build awareness around. Now, before I continue, I wanna make very clear that this video is not about you learning to pretend that what matters to you doesn't matter. That would not be great advice. What I am sharing is the distinction between reasonable requests versus having high expectations that are so high, no one will ever reach them, which keeps you single and unhappy rather than in a beautiful relationship. So how do you know if your expectations are unrealistic or too high? Well, stay with me as I'm going to share five common expectations women have that is killing their love life. Also, be sure to keep watching this video until the end as I have a special gift for you that will help you to get a man devoted to you. I'm Nadine Peart, a dating and lasting attraction coach for smart, savvy women and the founder of Healthy You, Healthy Love. Now, before we continue, please be sure to comment below and let me know if there's anything specific that you'd like help with and if there's a topic you'd like me to do a video on. I want to find out about who you are and what your needs are so I can support you on your path to big, sexy love. And when it comes to this topic, is there something you'd like to share? Please comment below. So let's begin with what exactly are expectations? Well, an expectation is a strong belief that something will or is meant to happen. Some dating expectations are healthy. For example, kindness, honesty, team effort, affection, and mutual respect. These are the basic fundamental building blocks of a loving relationship, whereas some expectations are fear-based and not conducive to intimacy. The key with identifying unhealthy expectations is to realize when requirements are no longer reasonable because not every guy is going to get a tattoo of your name on his ass to show you how much you mean to him. Here are three types of unrealistic expectations women struggle with. Number one, reckless emotion. Learning to express your feelings and vulnerabilities is required for an intimate relationship. And at the same time, many women think that they're entitled to express all of their emotions and act in whatever irrational or dramatic way they choose without this having any effect on a man. Instead of verbally castrating your guy when your expectations aren't met, speak to him gracefully and explain your point of view and be open to his perspective and point of view too. Not all men are emotionally numb or dumb. If anything, men feel things even more intensely than women because feelings are amplified when they are suppressed. So encourage your guy to share his feelings too. This way you will grow a mutually supportive relationship, which is the key to opening his heart to you completely. And here's that free gift. When we're triggered and emotional, we can say things that can hurt a relationship. Check out my e-report called Word Poison. I reveal 16 words and phrases to avoid using if you want to keep the passion and attraction alive in your relationship. The link 
link is right below in the description. Now my next point number two, he's not a mind reader. If you're finding yourself confused and hurt of your man's lack of awareness of your emotional needs, remind yourself that men are not mind readers. If you've not explicitly told him what you value or how you're feeling, you can't expect him to know. Also, he might not realize how much something means to you. Many women believe that if a man truly loves her, he will instinctively know what she wants at all times. This is a classic situation of expectations versus reality. Expecting your man to read your mind is simply unrealistic. Instead, I encourage you to learn how to express your values more effectively. Number three, expecting him to be a millionaire. Every man is different and has different resources available to him. It might not be realistic to expect dinner at a five-star restaurant every time you go out. If you find yourself getting upset over a surprise picnic or him driving a Toyota instead of a BMW, perhaps it's time to reevaluate your priorities and reassess your expectations. Would you rather be happy on a picnic and camping with a great guy or miserable at the best restaurant in town with a man who has little time for you? This is not to say that all men of financial wealth are useless at relationships. Of course, this is not true. The point is to have realistic expectations. When you expect more than he can afford, he will feel an enormous amount of pressure and could be the reason why he pulls away. Number four, premature commitment. When you're dating a man, do you have rules about what should happen and when? Thoughts like he should be introducing me to his kids by the second month, he should want to see me at least four times a week, we need to spend every weekend together, is this guy going to want to get married soon, and so on. Some men just don't have the lifestyle to accommodate all of your desires or ideals. Some men have kids and also travel for work. Rather than racing to the altar, Take that foot off the gas and get to know that man with no pressure. Sure, if he legitimately doesn't have time for a relationship and he's not treating you mindfully, then a conversation needs to be had and a reevaluation of what you want is needed. And yet, everyone has a different timeline or way of building towards that deeper connection. Most people want to take time to get to know each other properly before diving into the I do's. Take a step back and allow for the relationship to grow organically. Believe me, he will love you more for it. So yes, encourage him, require kindness, and don't smother him. Number five, contact frequency. Some men love to text, some prefer to call, some men will contact you once a day or every second day when you first meet. In the early stages of dating, many women create huge expectation around the amount of contact they think they need to feel wanted and desired, to feel confident with this man. This need to be contacted so regularly not only creates massive anxiety for you, the woman, it will kill attraction. I don't want you investing time and energy into a man who rarely contacts you, disappears for many days at a time, says he will call and doesn't, or only contacts you for a booty call. If you want a committed relationship, then this is not the guy for you. The key here is to not prematurely expect too much from a new relationship. When you insist on a certain number of messages per day, or you have a tight response time, a man can feel controlled and this will push your guy away. Also, if you tend to become text crazy and keep texting him when you don't hear from him within the time frame you think you need, then you will ruin his desire for you. True love is about trust, trusting life, trusting that if a man is interested, he will make an effort, rather than forcing a man to act a certain way according to your super high standards. As Thich Nhat Hanh said, you must love in such a way that the person you love feels free. If a man is being inconsistent, leaves you hanging, then that is a different conversation. Just know that sometimes a man will respond to you in seconds when he's free, and yet when he's at work and in meetings all day, he might not respond until after he's returned home. I can be a fast responder and sometimes I've got strict work deadlines which sees my phone on aeroplane mode for hours. Don't expect a man to be a slave to his phone. Focus on what he's like 
80% of the time. In fact, in my program, Unlock His Heart, I have a powerful, love-changing exercise called the Fear Clash that explains our fear-based expectations and how to dissolve them. Because often, your fears will trigger his fears, hence why this exercise is so critical. If you want to create that deep bond with the man, check out the link below for Unlock His Heart in the description. Well, that's it for today. Please comment below and let me know if this video has helped you to clear up the difference between unrealistic and realistic expectations. Of course, if you think a friend would benefit from this topic, please share this with them as it might be the very video they need to see to lead them to a healthy and loving relationship. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't yet or you're new, please do subscribe to this channel as this will allow me to keep creating these videos for you. Just hit the subscribe button below this video and the bell button to get notified of my new video every week. It's been a pleasure to have you here with me today. I encourage you to choose to love a little more every day in some special way and see you again at my next video. Mm -hmm.